Hi, and welcome to this quick video on how to use and set up Social Bee for your business. I'm just going to share my screen to start with. Okay, so one of the first things we need to do when we're setting up Social Bee is to go to the bottom right hand corner and actually set up the social profiles that you want to use. So, as you can see, um, I have mine set up already, but down the bottom you can have Twitter. Facebook page, profile and group, LinkedIn page and profile, Instagram, but only if you have Buffer, which is uh, a paid um, account, uh, Pinterest, which is via Hootsuite, and Google My Business. So Instagram and Pinterest, I think they are looking at trying to get direct uh, links to, but at the moment you have to do them through the third party tools. So, um, the very first thing that we need to do after we've set up the profile, so you simply just click one of those and connect it to the whatever the account happens to be. Then we can start um, adding our categories. So when you go into the content section here, they'll already have created some uh, dummy uh, categories for you. You just need to determine what are the categories that make the most sense to you. So the ones that I use, a curated content, so that is pulling in other people's content. Um, I have Friday quotes that are, um, you know, light-hearted quotes that happen at the end of the week. You could also have a Monday motivation um, quote. I have uh, blog posts, so these are my blog posts that come from my website, and then I have promotional content as well. So to set these up, so to start with, the first one that you need is your own blog posts. You go to the RSS section inside of this content area and you click add, as you can see mine's already added, but you add RSS. You need to click the profiles that you're going to want to have your um, blog post go out to. So if you want it to have it to all of them, then that's fine as well. You can click all of them. I'm just gonna take off, uh, Google My Business has this um, section here, whether you wanna add, um, the link into a button as well as the text. So I'm just gonna turn that off for the minute to stop the, to avoid any confusion. But we select the category which is, we want it to go to our blog posts. The RSS feed is always um, your, uh, you have to look at the code to find out specifically, but generally um, it's your uh, website address plus code. So for me, it's, kellyobrien.com.au forward slash feed. For others, it can be something different. And so you'll need to have a look if your website is set up in a different way. But generally, if you're using a WordPress website, that's what it'll be. May also be RSS. And then I have seen others be something completely different again. Um, I don't want to add the posts as they're approved. I don't want, um, I don't want to, sorry, add posts as approved. I want to be able to approve them myself and I'll show you why. In a minute and then we just uh, we don't want to expire the post we want them to go ever um, forever so what happens is for example in my case which you'll see there's 50 something blog posts and when it gets to um, and one blog post may go out on Facebook per week so when it gets to week 52 it will start back at blog post number one so it will just keep regurgitating or recycling that content so I don't need to tick any of these um, boxes down here and then you click create so I'm not going to do that um, obviously because I don't want to set it up again now if I wanted third party content so content from other people's websites I would do the exact same process but this time I click whichever platforms I want but I do curated content, so other people's content that I'm bringing in. Put in their, new, their feeds, you may have um, half a dozen different people that you want or half a dozen different websites that you want into your curated site or you know, particular news sites that you follow. So you'll need to put in one of these uh, individually, so curated, the first one and um, again you don't want them to be pre-approved you want to approve them yourself unless you're okay with that um, and then create so you set up different ones of those then when we go back to our category section it will automatically populate now there's nothing in my curated at the moment um, actually there is this 84 but I'm just going to use my own blog post as an example so there's 51 blog posts in here we view the view the posts 
And then as you can see, all of my posts are set up below with Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter. Um, I think they also usually have Google My Business as well. But um, you can go through and see each of them um, and you can see that the green light is ticked. Now this is my latest blog post, which I haven't actually done this one as yet. So this is the process that I would do as a new blog post comes in so that it can be approved and added to um, the calendar. So I would click edit. I put in the status that I want to have appear and I click all of the places that I want it to appear on. So I want it to go to Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. I don't want it to go here. Um, I'm not sure why I've got two. I have to have a look at that in a minute. Um, I don't want it to go there. Oh, that was buffer, so I don't want it to go to buffer. Um, I need to cancel that. So it's our blog post is the category, which is, it will pre um, pre set up, and then I would write whatever the status is. So, um, are you struggling to um, create stories within your content marketing? Here's how to write. And here's how to write effective stories that attract your ideal clients and compel them to want to read and take action. So leave that as is. Now, as you can see at the moment, it does it as a link preview. It has the image and then a link preview. You don't love that and you would prefer to have um, the uh, an image and have the link in the comments section then you replace the link with a photo and I can upload it by clicking this plus button and then finding the image that I need or you can just click here and if it's the right shape it will work now this isn't the right shape I need it to be um, I need to go and find content storytelling and see if I can find that specific one. So I don't know if this is going to be it, probably not. I'm just going to use it just for the moment. Um, I'll check whether it's right later. So there's the image and now you can see that the link has been added to the end of, automatically been added to the end of the status. Uh, I can go through and share it once and repost. So um, that's fine, post at a specific time. I don't want to do that. I just want to add it to my calendar. Unless, of course, I had a blog post that was expiring at a certain time, you can click this expire the post and have it say that this is an all around Christmas and you want it to actually stop once Christmas comes. Um, you can do that as well. Now, the other thing, obviously, this, as it looks here, will go out on all platforms and may not look, look correct. Um, so we can actually adapt it for each of the platforms. So. You can uh, customise for each profile and now it's gone through and it's showing me that um, I'm not allowed to do more than one profile at a time so I'm just going to get rid of that one to get rid of the error. So this is uh, Twitter and what's going to appear. So for this one I might want to add some hashtags. I don't know if that's right. Um, this one's for LinkedIn so again I might um, be interested in adding a hashtag to it or content marketing might be better. Facebook, I don't necessarily want to add that. Um, and then Google My Business, um, I can leave the link in the text or I can say learn more. And so there's a learn more button and I can add the link to it. The other thing with Google My Business is that the image sizes are different. So while I can use a 1200 by 628 on Twitter, LinkedIn and Facebook and it will look okay um, on all platforms, it doesn't look okay on Google My Business and actually cuts the image off and looks quite, um, quite bad. So you may want to then upload um, a Google My Business specific sizing in this as well. So that's using a different variation for each one. It's super quick then to share out to different um, platforms. You don't have to keep re-uploading it. The other thing you can do is if you don't have many blog posts and you want to be able to create more content in this library, 
then you can add a variation, which is this other button here. And what that'll do is it'll duplicate what you've got there um, and you can change up the image, for example, or write a different status. And so there'll be two or three, depending on how many times you click the add variation button um, of this one post. So once we're ready, we can update the post. And then I have to go and update this again later because it's not what I want to say. But um, just getting it so that you can see what I'm, do what I'm doing. And um, obviously it's still not approved, so I'd need to click the green button for this to actually go through um, and be added to the calendar. So at the moment it's not, it's just sitting there in limbo. And that's the reason that I don't have things auto approved, otherwise I have no way to, um, it could go out with um, a poorly worded status, for example, or the image is incorrect. So that's the uh, categories section of, um, of this. The other part and the important part is the posting. So this is the schedule that I have for all of my platforms. So if I go up the top, that obviously looks quite overwhelming at the moment. If I chose it for Facebook, for example, to start with, then I ensure that I have um, on a Monday, you can see that Monday is a curated piece and a promotional piece. It's someone else's content at nine o'clock in the morning and then um, a promotional piece, which um, promotional pieces for me are talking about my services, my opt-ins, uh, sharing case studies or testimonials. So they're things that are promoting um, either getting an email or getting um, a client. So they're um, more salesy based stuff, whereas obviously the blog posts are more content related. So Tuesday's content goes out at 5.32. And you can, when you first set up a schedule, it will prompt and ask you whether you would like to um, add it based on the activity of that particular profile. Um, or you can manually do it. So I tend to do it manually. Wednesdays I leave open so that I can put something up myself, um, so in the moment type of stuff. Thursday, curated piece of content and my blog posts. Friday, uh, the Friday quotes uh, goes out. And I can do this for each of the different um, posts. And for example, with uh, my Twitter profile, there's a lot more content that goes out. And so, for example, where on Facebook, only one of my blog posts might go out a week. On um, on Twitter, there might be you know six six um, of my blog posts going out. So I'm going to run through that 51 blog posts much quicker. So that's pretty much all you need to look at. There is analytics that you can look at as well, um, based on each one. You can go through and have a look at. Um, so for example, Twitter, how many followers and, and unfollowers you've had how many people have looked at um, specific, um, not sure if I can see it on Facebook, for example, but um, it'll tell you how many likes and click-throughs and things you've had on, or not click-throughs, sorry, likes, re retweets and uh, comments you've had on particular posts. Um, so you can track those sorts of things. You can't see things like reach and click, clicks and all that um, those metrics, you have to go to the actual platform. But for the basics, um, this at least allows me to go through and see if something hasn't performed particularly well, it's got no engagement, then I might go back into the um, content library and actually update that particular thing. The only other last thing to look at is, so that was how to um, get our content in um, so that it's automatically brought in from an RSS feed. To do it manually, so Friday quotes, for example, just click the add button, determine again which platforms you want it to go on, write your status, Oops. Um, add a link if you happen to have a link. Um, if you're not having a link, then that's fine as well. Add a photo or a video, so I just click um, the image to add the image to it. I don't have anything that I can specifically add. Um, um, there at the moment. Make sure it's approved or unapproved depending on what you want to do and then add the post. So that's um, how to get the new one in there. So that's how it, uh, how Social Bee works. Um, I don't think there's anything else in here specifically that you need to know um, but that's a quick way to set it up to get your content in there 
And then of course, then it's automatically sharing out to those different social media profiles regularly, regularly for you. So if you don't have time to do social media, there's always something at least going out. Now, while it's automated, I still believe in doing things in the moment as well and doing um, certain things that can't be um, evergreen, they can't uh, be automated. So having a balance of both is really good, but this is a great way to get back some of your time. Let me know if you have any questions at all and thanks for watching.